Hiya, so um, we're in San Antonio and I just finished my second stage with PRMA. Um, and first of all, I just wanted to say that the experience at their new landmark location uh, for Methodist Hospital was amazing. Uh, it's a small hospital and so getting in and getting out was super easy. The care was phenomenal. Um, never mind that it's a brand new facility, but I just wanted to say that it's it's really amazing. You know, I was saying to somebody in an elevator the other day, even just in, in, in Charlotte, that, you know, we take for granted um, that part of the reason our healthcare costs are high is that we have amazing facilities to go to. And, um, and that if we had lower standards of, um, you know, facilities, that that would really impact us. We just really take it for granted, I think, here in the U.S. too. But I'm not justifying high medical costs, but I am saying that. Um, in other places, um, it's not, it's not that way. So, um, but the care was amazing. Uh, I saw both my surgeons, Dr. Johnston and Dr. Chris Offalo, um, and joked around with them. We had a great, they're just great guys. Um, and my nursing care was unbelievable. Um, so this is day two after post-op. Um, I'm sore, but I really feel pretty good. I mean, I slept like crazy yesterday and they had to give me some allergic, uh, Benadryl and stuff to keep me from having a, a rash with the adhesives, but um, but really, it, it was great. Um, nothing <laughs> like that first surgery that was 10 hours, um, although I was at the hospital for a long time because I was so drowsy coming out of anesthesia and because of the Benadryl. Um, but we're here at this amazing a Airbnb. Um, I'm outside, they have a little casita area, um, and that's the bunkhouse back there, but it's so nice out today. We didn't get to enjoy that in August because it was miserable, but I thought I would come out here and have my quiet time and, um, and do an update. But um, but yeah, I'm sore. I have some really funky um, foam dressings on that have to be on for two weeks. I still have to wear compression wear and all of those things. Um, and we won't know about pathology until um, you know, for several days. So, um, that remains to be seen, but, um, trusting that it's all good. The, um, surgeon said he didn't, you know, feel anything structural, um, in the tissue. And so, um, just praying that we indeed got clear margins this time. So, um, anyway, I hope you're having a great day. And, um, and if you're, um, just a friend who's checking on us, that's awesome. And thanks for your prayers. It's a huge support, but if you're considering, um, doing, you know, reconstruction and, um, after, or even a double mastectomy and immediate reconstruction, um, PRMA is, um, they're still the best in the country. And, um, and so I just encourage you to, to do that. Um, and again, I'm really doing good. I just am sore and can't, you know, can't move freely, but, um, but not having drains is a big difference for sure that to take care of. So that's really good. Um, it'll be a little annoying to be in all these binding clothes, um, that make me big and wide and stuff. I can only wear certain shirts over it, but, um, but that's a small price to pay, um, to know that we're cancer free and just have the second stage done. And so I hope you're, um, you're well and where you are. And uh, the name of our B&B, if you're coming to San Antonio to PRMA, is the Keystone Retreat, hosted by Honey and James Gonzalez. And they have taken such good care of us. I mean, from the first surgery to now and checking on us and making sure we're good and uh, that we don't need anything. So um, they also have a, an adjustable bed that makes a huge difference when you're having to sleep on your back. Um, the first surgery, you have to sleep elevated. This one I didn't have to, but I need to stay on my back. Um, and then they moved their recliners from their house in Dallas here after our last day when I said that that made it easier for surgical patients um, to to sit and move about and, you know, watch TV or whatever in the family room. Just it's a more comfortable. Uh, otherwise, you have to kind of hodgepodge and make your own um, to get in and out of chairs. So they're in there. Um, just when I say anything we need, I, I mean it. And um, they're uh, 10 minutes from the main Methodist Hospital. It took us about 15 to get to Landmark um, yesterday morning. So close to what you need to be close to, uh, about 15 from the airport. So it's a good kind of in-between place. But anyway, we're just super blessed. And um, like I said, glad to have this part of it uh, behind me and just praying for good results on the pathology. So have a great day and know that God is good. Um, that's the other thing, man, at that hospital, just amazing people from the registrar to um, really, um, and God was really good to me. Um, 
and that Rosa, who was checking me in, is a believer. And so I got to talk to her about the Lord and she even prayed with me. So just neat to look around and see where God is. Um, he's everywhere, but to really open your eyes and see how he's blessing. He's before us, he's behind us, but most importantly, he's beside us. So um, have a great day. Signing out from San Antonio in February.